Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and uh, here is a problem. A scientist measures the circumference of acorns in a population of oak trees and discovers that the most common circumference is 2 cm. What would you expect most common circumference to be after 10 generations of disruptive selection? And here are the 4 answers to choose from. Uh, answer A, 2 cm, B, greater than 2 cm or less than 2 cm, answer C, greater than 2 cm and less than 2 cm, and answer D, can tell from the information given, and I can tell you that this is not the answer D, we have information, we have enough information to answer this um, problem, so uh, what is the uh, uh, normal distribution uh, usually that can we see and this is one axis and this is another one and here we might have for example um, sizes so here would be two centimeters and here would be one centimeter and here would be three centimeters and on this axis uh, there would be uh, distribution of numbers and usually in real life uh, we can uh, see such uh, curve like this so medium sized uh, would be uh, represented in most quantity and uh, those uh, that is uh, here and here extremes uh, very small uh, acorns, for example, and uh, and very large acorns uh, might be represented in uh, much smaller quantities. So as you see, here's a quantity. So very large would be uh, present in very small quantities, and uh, as you see, uh, medium sized would be present in uh, highest quantities. And the same uh, here with this slope here that very small would be present uh, in very few numbers and uh, the bigger they become uh, the bigger uh, quantity you might find but this medium sized would be uh, most present uh, and uh, when we have disruptive selection uh, a new curve would look like this so we would have one wave here and another wave here. So uh, we are going to lose this uh, most represented uh, genotype and phenotype uh, and uh, extreme phenotypes here would become uh, most uh, represented. For example, um, why this might happen? Imagine that uh, Mm, we have peaks that fit on uh, these acorns and by some uh, unknown reason, for example, they might prefer medium-sized uh, acorns, for example, for the uh, test uh, and for the, uh, for example, they might ignore uh, this small size because uh, they are too small for them. And this, uh, for example, overgrown might uh, accumulate some uh, chemicals that uh, pigs do not like, so they wouldn't uh, feed on this uh, large acorns. And uh, this might uh, lead to speci speciation during uh, enough time, this to uh, very small and very large uh, representatives might uh, separate uh, and accumulate different um, allelic frequencies and of course uh, different um, mutations that would lead to speciation. So this is uh, what we have when we have disruptive selection and uh, the correct answer would be answer C. Uh, we would have uh, 
greater than 2 cm acorns and uh, less so and very important here and less than 2 cm so we would have two waves less and uh, bigger and answer B greater than 2 cm or less than 2 cm give us only one choice so this is, should be one wave whether bigger or smaller and this is not disruptive so uh, and uh, answer A 2 cm would be an example of the stabilizing selection when uh, selection would be against uh, these extreme phenotypes so this uh, wave would be bigger here and smaller on both extreme sides so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye